So if you're developing scale on your pool plaster for any reason, either a bad startup or just a chemistry imbalance in your pool, I would recommend getting a bottle of the Butech by Easy Care, maybe two bottles depending on your scale level. And this will help descale the pool along with uh, getting the chemistry imbalanced. So I'm going to go ahead and treat a couple pools on my route with this and I'll show you the treatment I use to get rid of the scale that's on the plaster. You can actually see the scale on the wall here. You can actually see it if I dust the side. You can see the scale come off with a powdery form. And along with putting the view tick and the scale tick in, I'm going to lower the alkalinity down to 80 where it's at right now. So you want to do the acid demand test, maybe on a daily basis, depending on how how the pH shoots up every day. And it took four drops of solution three to get the pH, the color to change to the right pH level. And if you haven't done the acid demand test, I have a video on this. You just look on the back of the chart and it'll tell you how much acid to add. And in this case, I have to add uh, two quarts of acid to lower it down to 7.2. Okay, so when you pour the acid, you want to walk away from the fumes as you're pouring, and you can actually see the fumes here coming towards me. You want to just keep walking away. You don't want any of that, breathe any of that into your lungs. If you want to wear gloves and you handle the acid, it's pretty toxic. And don't put the bottle directly onto the decking. And the next thing I'm going to do is get a steel brush and brush the pool really good to get the scale off. I'm going to go ahead and brush it with a steel brush. I'm going to get any buildup off. Still there. You can actually see some of the residue on the bottom there when I, when I brush the walls. You can also use a very fine sandpaper on the wall. And here is 80, so this one looks good. I'm going to go ahead and use it to kind of rub some of the calcium off the wall. It won't damage it if you do it lightly. That kind of helps loosen, loosens it up also. And I'm going to go ahead and add the view ticket by pouring it around the edge of the pool. And so you can just get your pool brush and modify it with sandpaper. Look something like this and then use this to brush that wall and it should take some of that uh, build up right off that wall. So if you have a lot of scaling, try the sandpaper. It should take it off pretty good. Just want to brush along the area where the scale's at. And it'll eventually wear through so you want to retape some more and do the process again. And you can see here by the tile area of the pool when I brushed it, all that dust from the calcium built up coming right off the wall. But the butech is the key to the whole process. It helps get behind the scale and kind of lift it off the wall so you can brush it off or sand it off pretty easily. So make sure you do the initial dose, and I'm going to go ahead and add the maintenance dose to this pool also every week. So the key to use the Butech, along with keeping the pH at 7.2 and the alkalinity at 80. So again, one of the key factors is keeping your pH low and your alkalinity around 80. That helps the Butech work on the scale, and it helps the scale from sticking to the wall. So the chemistry is really important along with using the Butech to loosen up the scale. That way you can brush it or sand it off the wall easily. Here, here. Somewhere over here. Okay, so after about two weeks, the pH is adjusted in this pool. You can see a lot of the scale is gone, and it's getting smoother. So the calcium is probably going to all disappear, I think, in a matter of weeks. Alkalinity test. See how it how it looks. Okay, the alkalinity is at 90, which is good. And if your alkalinity gets too low, 
below 60, you can add some baking soda. Or you can buy some alkalinity up at the pool store. It's the same ingredient. It's the um, sodium bicarbonate. So the sodium bicarbonate will raise the alkalinity up. It won't raise the pH up that much, only slightly. But it'll raise the alkalinity up by adding it to the water. And I have a video that covers adding uh, sodium bicarbonate to your pool to raise the alkalinity up. After about two months of aggressively treating this pool, balancing the chemicals and the pH and the alkalinity, the plaster is really smooth. So all the scaling is gone. But it took a while, but it's an effective treatment. And if you do an initial treatment with Butech and use a whole bottle and you notice that the scale is returning a few weeks later, go ahead and throw another one or two bottles in there and that will be effective. Sometimes the initial dose isn't enough to remove the scale, so you have to add more of the product. Remember the key factors so this will work for you. First you want to add the Butech. You may add one or two of these 64 ounce containers to your pool. And the key is to get the right amount of Butech in at the beginning. Sometimes this fails by not putting enough Butech in. So at least put one full container, maybe two in there and initially start it and then do the maintenance dose every week after that. You want to keep your pH at 7.2 by adding muriatic acid and keep your alkalinity about 80 and the acid also will lower the alkalinity down. You want to use a small steel brush to brush the scale off the wall or tie some, tape some sandpaper to your brush to sand it off that way. Give the butech about one or two weeks initially to start loosening the scale up. So this process will take anywhere from four to six weeks. Once the butech starts loosening the scale up by brushing it every day, every couple days, and by sanding out the areas that are hard, keeping the chemicals balanced, you'll notice the scale will be coming off the walls. Here's a pool where I use a maintenance dose of the butech in it every week to prevent scaling on it. You can see that it's an old tile pool, so it definitely needs the butech in here to keep any scale from building up on it.